This is the Havoc Behavior Tool, version 6.5, showing the Havoc Ninja demo for GDC 2009. And I'm demonstrating here the Havoc Behavior Tool. We have the project loaded up. We have our uh, four uh, defending ninjas and our blue attacker ninja in the middle and a terrain element, a uh, physical terrain element that's been exported from uh, one of the modelers. We support uh, 3D Studio Max, Maya, and Soft Image, all with the Havoc content tools, which bring all of the animation and character content and rigs and terrain into the tool very directly. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play back uh, in an enlarged view uh, the um, s simulation that I just did. Uh, one of the advantages of the tool is you can simulate everything in real time in the tool and cache that uh, automatically and then scrub back and uh, look at what happened, analyze, uh, go back and tune things. Basically, I'll use this to explain a little bit what's going on in this demo. So we have a attacking behavior that we've authored in the tool using just drag and drop uh, wiring of nodes with a little bit of expression writing uh, just for te testing some conditions in the environment. Uh, the defending ninja in the middle is sensing uh, all the attacking ninjas around it and deciding how to behave accordingly to make things interesting and convincing. And similarly, the behaviors for the defenders have also been authored with an awareness as well, using Havoc physics underneath everything to sense the environment and decide what to do. So let's watch what's going on. Right off the bat, uh, the ninjas orient toward each other. Uh, they orient to the nearest sense ninja in this particular case. Uh, here we have some hit reactions. So these are examples Examples of paired animations, but softly paired. So we're actually uh, we're automatically orienting the characters toward each other, so we get into a position of appropriate attack. Uh, we form a physical constraint there. Uh, we do an automatic throw. Let's go back and take a look at that. Actually, there's a lot going on here. It's pretty fast. So basically, what we do is once we once we approach and the attacking ninja decides to throw a particular move. In this case, I think he's going to do the grab. So we'll just kind of jog forward. So once he does the grab, he lets the other ninja know uh, by communicating between the behaviors. There is an event that says, you've been grabbed. The, the uh, defending ninja goes to the appropriate paired animation. But we are blending in with physics here, uh, a little bit of ragdoll and a little bit of animation mixed up. We have some uh, hit ground reactions. So he grabs his head when he goes down. And then, of course, this guy is finished with them. He's going to go off to the big guy. And this particular example here just demonstrates uh, our ability to uh, you know, sense the height of a character based on the markers that are part of the ragdoll. Now again, these markers are um, set up once and um, dynamically scaled inside of the tool and inside of the runtime, so it's really very much an author once, use many kind of situation. Uh, so here we're uh, doing a couple uh, punches, and uh, the blue ninja is always warning the defender uh, that a punch is coming. So the defender has a chance to try to block, and thereafter the blue ninja is basically going to use Havoc Physics to sense and see if there's a contact between a particular fist or foot or whatever, and uh, based on uh, whether that contact is made, an appropriate reaction will be taken. So in a sense, the blue ninja is authoritative. It tells the, uh, the uh, defending ninja what just happened, whether he got hit in the face or uh, grabbed by the shoulder. Um, but also, he's, uh, he's honest. He lets him know that a punch is coming. And it, uh, it conveys the, the right sense of gameplay. Um, so here we have a full takedown. And uh, I think we're going to go back and try to finish off this guy right here. Go back one more time and uh, maybe sneak up and grab on the shoulder. Again, show you that uh, constraint. Throw, and we'll go over, and uh, I think he might be done for. We may have to just finish him off with a really um, uh, efficient uh, kick to the head. So put him out of his misery. And there you have it. So that's um, our uh, GDC 2009 demo for uh, the Havoc Behavior Tool, showing paired animations and uh, all authored inside of the tool uh, with content directly exported out of uh, the uh, major modelers. Thank you.